version of reddit i'm nelson allingham joined by michael campo campbell you say welcome to reddit on reddit but really nelson you say welcome to 2024 <laughs> this will release though on new year's eve for some for new some. Year's day for others but surely they're on like the precipice oh maybe they even start maybe they even started in 2023 nelson uh, yeah well and maybe. ended in 2024 whoa Crazy, yeah. If you start fact, it at, a, that. at like eleven twenty, <laughs> yeah, chances are PM. Yeah. Chances are, what a wild New Year's <laughs> that is! <laughs> it's like, uh, Guys, uh, sh- sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen at, to the podcast. At, at right about New Year's time, <laughs> yeah. you're hearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shower thought, yeah. thought, thought. Like, uh, yeah, what, a, what a day! I think that's the best New Year's anybody can ever. <laughs> Um, what are your New Year's resolutions, Cambo? And by that, I mean admit your flaws to the listeners <laughs> and what you need to improve on dramatically. New Year's resolution, if I could somehow find some way to stop this podcast. <sighs> That's mine every year. It's <laughs> self-sustaining at this point, which yeah. is terrifying to us. I'm, I'm thinking about changing my New Year's resolution for once to just sort of trick myself yeah. into accidentally ending this podcast because it hasn't worked when I've purposefully done that. And the thing, people don't realize this, but there's... Podcasts we have no memory of recording. They just show up. Just happens. We don't know how. Yeah. Shouldn't have signed that deal with the devil. <laughs> um but yeah, very special episode yeah. uh today. People the, tend to like these ones. Well, I hope so. Because it's annoying to put the notes together <laughs> for. So uh yeah, it's the best of Reddit 2023. Uh, usually this is, I feel like this is kind of my, uh, podnapping in a way, because I kind of quiz you on uh, yeah. certain stuff. So does that mean I don't have to do podnapping? It means I don't have to do podnapping. <laughs> <laughs> my next podnapping is void. Uh, and retroactively, I'm going to use all the best of, uh, reddits that yeah. I've done. Yeah. So I don't have to do one ever again. But like, I would say it's such a big podnapping that it voids both of our podnappings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, first few things. Uh, I usually ask you a few questions about the sort of top posts of the year. Yeah. So I sort by all. And in fact, this year, I only just did these notes yesterday. So this year, it's actually the closest it's been because sometimes we record like a week yeah, out and yeah. I'm, I'm potentially missing a week of like mm. content. Um, but this one, I think, is the closest it's ever been now to knowing, a full year. Now, knowing that you did it right like down to the wire, I didn't yeah. miss anything. Did it matter that you did it this week? Not at all. <laughs> right. um, I, I don't think so. I don't yeah, think yeah, there I, was like a post, the, the biggest like, post yesterday the that, was, that was huge. <laughs> Uh, but okay. So my first question for you is, uh, each year I always select the top three celebrity posts. Mm -hmm. You've got to tell me if there is a, um, celebrity that you think was the highest upvoted, uh, in the highest upvoted post, uh, do any st- stand out at the moment? Do you think any celebrities that have been in the... I, I would say in the regular world, mm-hmm. it would be far and away Taylor Swift. Okay. But on mm-hmm. Reddit, yeah, the odd cousin that you see at Christmas every year of the internet, yeah, I don't think Taylor Swift is their jam. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's I mean, not. maybe R slash Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. generally speaking. Yeah. But you know what would happen? Someone would do a post about Taylor Swift and all the comments would, be, would start with, I don't even listen to Taylor Swift. I don't even know who Taylor Swift is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, buddy. Okay. She knew. I, I, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, okay. I can tell you uh, probably with confidence, I reckon in the top 50 to maybe even 100, mm. uh, Taylor Swift was not mentioned. No, no, <laughs> yes. No, no. But Keanu Reeves, oh, definitely. <laughs> well, Gabby, you say that. Let's go through it. Uh, the, the first ones you got top, uh, these are the three you can choose from. Uh, it was the mugshot of Donald Trump was uh, in yeah. there. Yeah. That was in r slash pics, and it was by user Stoboy1995. Keanu Reeves did an AMA <laughs> in r slash yeah. movies, uh-huh. and it was by user Lionsgate. Yeah. Uh, and there was a kind of combined one here, Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler on the red carpet. Uh, it was in r slash funny, 
and it was by user Holy Fruits. Uh, and this one, just to give you uh, some more context. Is it the really tall reporter? There was a really tall Australian yeah, yeah, yeah. reporter. Vlad, Brad Blanks, his name is. Yeah, he used to be yeah. on the Hamish Nanny show. Right, yeah. What was uh, pretty funny about this is I, as I was scrolling back and forth on the top post, that video just auto-played a few yeah. times. Which is funny. And it's such an old video, but this year it's really popped off. Right, yeah. It was for the movie Just Go With It. Oh, that, that was like so long ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is really weird. That it's, it's one of the top posts of this year. Uh, but what's funny is looking at Jennifer Addison's face every time she realizes just how big he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she's genuinely terrified about it. Yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. Uh, so which one of those do you believe is, or if you could put them in order, please. Yeah, know. yeah. Here's what I wonder. Mm-hmm. The Donald Trump mug shot was a pretty big historical thing. Yeah, yeah. But people think they can interact with Keanu Reeves. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and so this Keanu kind Reeves, of gives them a more direct line to do so. And the thing is, Keanu Reeves, to be clear, one, probably his assistant, two, clearly doing promotion for John Wick 4. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other right. one is like a genuine historical yeah. Like artifact, yeah, yeah. A, a, a former president arrested, yeah, and it has yeah. a mugshot. <laughs> That's right. Which does Reddit like? <laughs> <laughs> it's a toughie, isn't it? It yeah. is a toughie. <laughs> um, I, I think th- for third, I'll, I'll put Adam Sandler in Jennifer Aniston. In Jennifer Aniston. Yep. Though that that video did really pop off for some reason. So yes, I, but I, I think I'll put that third. <sighs> Just because Reddit is Reddit. I'm going to put them in the wrong order and say it was uh-huh. Trump number two and Keanu Reeves number one. Uh, Even though, to be clear, I think it should be the other <laughs> way around. No, no, you've got it. Bag on. <laughs> Keanu Reeves was number one. Yeah, of course. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, you not quite bang uh, on. You got Keanu Reeves first, yeah. but it was actually Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler <laughs> second. And then Donald Trump. And then Donald Trump, uh, his mugshot third. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. But my, my logic surprising. remains that people thinking they can interact with Keanu Reeves will trump any historical event. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, trump any Trump event. Oh. Oh. Uh, but uh, what, what I thought was, uh, what I think is interesting is I think Reddit is kind of slowly, slowly getting off the let's just bag the shit out of Trump <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind yeah. of bandwagon. Yeah. Uh, not that he's getting better. Yeah. It's just that this it's, so, it's happened just so it's, cons- it's consistently. As long as it doesn't slowly veer into, let's hear him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Reddit just becomes pro-Trump. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yes. Okay. So that was uh, top three celebrities. Uh, now, top three posts. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I've done this a little bit differently. So I've got, you have to choose the top three posts and the... Uh, uh, but uh, I'm going to give you four. One of them is the 20th top post. Okay. Uh, so three in order and then one that you think is the 20th. So we have Keanu Reeves AMA. Yep. Uh, the personal trainer. Uh, there's a personal trainer training a severely overweight man at the gym mm-hmm. and just being like really positive. Uh, that was in Humans Being Bros. Yep. And it was by user Thomas... Tomas Tubando, which I'm assuming is the personal trainer, maybe, um, because he, I feel like he had a French accent. Uh, and it, I, I want to point something out. It was, it was quite nice, this video, but I, I the am personal, p- there was no, like, I was expecting at the end to show, like, some awesome progress shots. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, this this overweight guy, he'd overcome, you know, he's, like, really struggling at the gym. He's kind of complaining a lot. And the personal trainer, he's just like, no, nah, you could do it. You could, You got a goal. You're going to get there, you know? I am picturing and, him smoking, by the way. And <laughs> what the personal trainer? Yeah, yeah, because it's French. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, very good. <laughs> yeah. uh, you Come get that go. <laughs> Come on, you can run faster than that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not quite the French accent, uh, that, uh, you might've thought, but, uh, yeah. So it was, it was like building to something that I thought didn't get there. But yeah, anyway, okay. that's, uh, that's not the Sound like real 20th material to me. So uh, the other one is a guy who found his neighbor's cat in his car. I read it would love that. That was in r slash pics <laughs> and it was by user go fight kickass. Um, 
And the last one is a guy who makes waffles for homeless people to make amends for an old video of his. So, uh, and this is in the subreddit, Made Me Smile, and it was by user Serious Bullet. Uh, so the video starts with a clearly like an old TikTok video where he's just doing, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like it's, it, it, uh, it was a common thing. We just over the top do something. So he's making this waffle, like, yeah, got a tub of yeah. maple syrup that he's topping over yeah. like 20 waffles and then like a shit ton of berries and stuff anyway. And so then he kind of cuts that off. And it's him looking a bit older and wiser and, and smug. I want to tell you how smug this guy looks. <laughs> uh, and he's being like, no, I'm going to, he's intercut some like starving, uh, uh, like third world people yeah. just a little bit in this. Uh, and then goes through the process of making these waffles. They did look delicious, Cambo. And then he goes to homeless people around the area, Mm. not in a third world country. He's clearly in America. (laughs) So kind of funny that he decided to put those two things together. Uh, And uh, and I hate it because I'm like, it's about a guy who's just trying to get more internet credit to be like, oh, look, guys, I used to waste so much food, but now I'm going to do this really nice thing for some homeless people um, to get more credit. It's the performative charity aspect of it, isn't it? It's because so he bad. would not have done it, yeah, if it wasn't a video. Do you know what? Uh, side note: uh, there was another post uh, which obviously didn't end up coming up, I think, but uh, it was a post of Dave Grohl mm-hmm. uh, feeding the homeless. Feeding the homeless in Melbourne. He's like he had no. There was no. Yeah, uh, there's paparazzi shots of him, as in yeah. like someone had clearly been like, "Oh my god, that's Dave Grohl!" Snap. But right, he yeah. was never like, "Hey, it's me, Dave." Yeah, Grohl. like, come and see what <laughs> yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "That's that's the kind of charity yes. <laughs> that you should be doing." That is um, <laughs> charity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I I really hated that this yeah. uh, had as yeah. many upvotes as it did. I feel like this is <laughs> anyway. the benign influence of someone like Mr. Beast. Yeah, because not only has to, does he have to be like, "I make the biggest waffle in the world," <laughs> yeah. which is what everyone tries to do as well. But it's also that, like, you know, Mr. Beast always cures hundred people's blindness or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. But he doesn't have the money to do that, so it's like, yeah, you can take waffles. I'll make a though. few waffles. This is okay, and <laughs> again, this is the stupid, th- stupidest thing that I picked up on mm-hmm. in this video as well. Is that he, as he's making the waffles, he has three waffle irons. Yeah. And I was like, you had to go out and buy three waffle irons or at least another two <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to make this video about being charitable. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, the waste. And it was just because it looked better in the video to kind of like fill up three waffle irons and then close the lids. Yeah. I was like, all the exact same model? All the exact same model. Yeah, see, if they were different models, I, I would have thought maybe he borrowed them. Maybe he borrowed them. No, nah, exact same nah, ones. Yeah. They looked suspiciously clean, I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just just can it all. If they're clean enough, we can return them. Give some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. Uh anyway, uh which of those okay. do you think? I've forgotten so much. Okay, so there's a Keanu Reeves AMA, yep. uh the personal trainer, training yep. the overweight man. Yep. A guy who found his neighbor's cat in his car yep. and the waffle guy. Being Reddit, I'm gonna put the cat right up there. Okay, right. Number guy, one, are we guy, going number guy, one? Mm, guy finding a cat in a car, right? Yeah. It's like that's that's really yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. That's oh my god, that's this is the stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we know they got a hard on for Keanu, so he needs to be up there since he was already the biggest celebrity post. Yeah. Mm. What do they value less, TikTok content or like mm. wholesome fitness? Technically, I think both TikTok. Yes. And I would say both less in the specific niches that Reddit normally fawns over. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, I mean, because it seems more like a TikTok YouTuber thing, I'm going to say the waffle guy was 20. Okay. And then, so third, I guess, is... What order do I put him in? I'll go third is the... Okay, first cat. Okay, Second, Keanu. Yep. Third is what was the other TikTok? Is the, first, the personal the trainer? Personal trainer. Yeah, 
And then 20th is the Waffles. Waffles. <laughs> Mr. Waffles. Uh, you were pretty close. But Keanu Reeves yeah, number one. takes it at number one <laughs> because, of it's, course, he does. It's promotion. Yeah, It's yeah. a promotional. It's by Lionsgate. Yeah. Isn't that so good? They're like, this is the best promo we've ever done in the world is just put Keanu Reeves yeah. and hey, AMA. Keanu, what was it like filming the movie? It was really fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good, yeah. Got on with all my co-stars and everything. Yeah. It actually wasn't um, terrible. Like, I have to admit, as also loving Keanu Reeves as much as I do, like I'm full on the bandwagon, Keanu. Yeah, yeah. uh, some of his uh, comments are just, they're just what you expect. Just really nice. And he's like talking about how much he loves other people and stuff. Um, like uh, there's, there's this one uh, that was by Snoopy Boo. Hi, Keanu. As a moderator of r slash Keanu being awesome, we appreciate your work in uh, some of the most incredible movies of all time. We also admire you for your kindness, generosity, and everything that makes you awesome. My question for you is, what's something awesome that someone did for you recently? Um, And he's responded, hi, Snoopy Boo. (laughs) You calling me awesome was the most recent example of something awesome someone did for me. And then a few weeks back, my motorcycle broke down and a friend of mine walked me through how to fix it over FaceTime. And it's just like, that's it. But it's just the kind, like a very nice, kind thing to one say, hey, it was so awesome that you called me awesome. And and I just, my motorbike broke down, I I called a friend and and I fixed it. And you're like, that's that seems like such a non-Hollywood actor thing to do. Yeah. Kim Kardashian would call and there'd be like 20 men that come and fix her motorbike. All women, Nelson. Men. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, for some reason, sexy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, there's 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. You only need one. Yeah. One mechanic would do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he really does. And I hate assuming this of celebrities. But he really does seem so much more down to earth yeah. than just any other celebrity you hear of. Uh, so, hey, I I recommend just going through and, and reading that AMA. You know what I'd love to see one day? An AMA of an actor mm-hmm. that's just like, hey, I'm Timothy Chalamet, an AMA. And people are like, what are you promoting? He's like, nothing. I'm just, yeah. just ask me anything. <laughs> I'm just bored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, yeah, you did really well because, uh, yeah, so Keanu... Yeah. But then it was uh, the guy found his neighbor's cat in his car. Yeah. <laughs> I found that amazing. There is no, I even like scrolled through some of the comments. I was like, is there more? Am I missing? Is this no. like a really famous dude? No. <laughs> like, nope. Just that's exactly what happened. Uh, anyway. And, I hate that I'm tuned in to Reddit like yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, then the third one was the personal trainer training yeah. the severely overweight man. Yeah. And uh, then the guy who makes the waffles for the homeless people, his was the 20th. So you did well there. Um, this year I thought it was a bit different. So I went with how many of the top 20 posts were feel good slash positive posts. I think after the pandemic years, mm-hmm. that's definitely more popular. Yeah, it's become yeah. it's become more like the, the rise of shows like Ted Lasso and what like yeah. everyone just wants things to be happy and conflict free. Exactly. Found a cat in my car. You're the best post. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, exactly. Like, like that. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I've so I've put in uh, uh, like humans being uh, bros and uh, made me smile posts. Yeah. Uh, there might be some exceptions to that. So, for example, I did put the waffles guy in because even though I thought it was a bit of a sham, you it, know, it is wholesome. It's content, a meant yeah. to be a wholesome thing. Uh, obviously, the personal trainer guy is yeah. in there too. So, you know, at least two of the yeah. um, top twenty are like kind of yeah. feel good I'm, posts. I'm... I didn't do the 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 guy with the cat in his car because I was looking for like very specifically meant to make you feel good, yeah. make you smile. That's just kind of like a funny thing, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to say over half. Okay. Yep. Let's go uh, top 20. I'm going to say 13. Okay. We've actually got exactly 50%, 10, 10. of 20. Uh, now that's not to say that the other 10 were, Bad, I mean, negative. Uh, yeah, cat in the car. It's a great one. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, yeah, there were there were either just some like some dude found a, a house in his attic, and it's exactly uh, what it sounds <laughs> like, like a full house <laughs> in his attic. Okay, uh, for one, he must have a huge roof. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you like walk in. And it's got like like a facade of the house. You walk in, it's got no, so bathroom need, and stuff. I need you to send me that. Video. It's very. <laughs> Hey, dude, top of this here, you will, you'll find it. It was just some pictures. Uh, but, yeah, not necessarily like a feel-good positive thing, just a bit, bit fun. So, um, I but, but I want to go through uh, some of these uh, and explain them a bit more because, you know what, we need a feel-good year. That's what we're here for. Uh, so in, this is in reverse order, actually. So there's the Waffles guy. Then uh, there was a protester at a busy intersection in Texas, and he was holding a sign that said, my grandchildren are safer with a drag queen than members of the clergy, Boy Scout leadership, politician. Uh, politicians, rather. Uh, and that was in the subreddit Picks, yep. and it was by a user, Super Cubs. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I thought that, that one was just pretty nice, especially, he, I imagine, in Texas, that yeah, man yeah, yeah, yeah. is likely to get beaten up. <laughs> yeah, he's probably dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, particularly the members of the clergy comment. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then another one was uh, so, someone donating to a Twitch streamer. Um, he, he he got emotional uh, talking about a friend who had committed suicide, which was really sad. It was in the summer. It made me smile. It was by Dunkable Balls. Uh, yeah, that one was a, a, a guy like he um, he had like zero people that he was streaming to. Um, I don't even know if he was streaming games or anything, uh, but then just some, I don't know, YouTuber, TikToker guy went on and, and started talking to him and, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was nice. It was oh, kind of nice. like an emotional sort of moment. And now this guy's got, you know, he started with like a hundred followers or something or not even maybe like 60 followers. And now he's got like 43,000 or something. Wow. So I was like, yeah, that's nice. Um, then uh, we've got, there's a kid at an ice hockey game that drops his ice cream <laughs> when he's on the big screen. And then later someone comes up and gives him gives a him run. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like classic uh, football kid and then Speaking really nice moment. of kids on screen, and I don't know if this is going to be a spoiler, but is the video on there where they keep cutting back to the kid on the jumbo screen and everyone keeps cheering for him? And then <laughs> they cut quite. to other people in the audience and everyone boos and they cut back to the kid. <laughs> and the kid grows... Like he just becomes more and more confused every time. <laughs> yeah, he was he was so confused. He must have been pretty young, but he was so confused when yeah. he got the ice, the new ice cream. You're right? Back. Yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> and then like, first there's a guy like he's watching himself on the screen, right? Mm. And there's a guy next to him with the ice cream, and he's not looking at the man next to him with the ice cream. He's, he's looking, looking at, him, at yeah. himself on the screen, being like. There's, is that a guy next to me with ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's pretty cute. Yeah. And then uh, anyway, he gets it. It was a good one. Uh, that was in Humans Being Bros and by Sarahil. Uh Then we've got one where just a son sewed a shirt for his dad. And it was in uh, Made Me Smile. And it was by Pickles Anonymous. Um, this... This one was, yeah, just really nice. Just a dad that's just like, my son made this shirt and his son's there. Yeah. And he's like, How look at son? this. It looks good. He was probably like, I would say under 10, maybe 10 okay. ish. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Like it, it it was good. Like he did it at school in a whatever class. And one of the um, uh, comments, I ch- which I thought was good, was like, this would just never happen like 20 years ago. Some some dad bragging about this. His son who like sewed, sewed this awesome shirt for him. It's like, we're, we're making it slowly. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we're, we're doing better in the world. Yeah. Uh, when stuff like this can be celebrated, you know. And he was just like, the dad was really chuffed and the kids like got the widest grin because his dad's so happy about it. It was like, it was just such an awesome video. Um, this is another one was, uh, after 20 plus years of buying insulin on Craigslist or simply going without today, I got all this for $35 and it was like seven insulin shot thing is, yeah. um, and that was this in the summer. Amer- this person's American made me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was in the summer. It made me smile and by tis, tis due. Um, yeah, I, I saw something similar uh, a few another a few posts down actually yeah. you know in probably top kind of fifty, and uh, 
that person, I, I think the price was something like uh, it was going to be $2,500 for them and their one was like $25. Yeah. So uh, obviously like a huge saving for those people. And I don't even know specifically what was passed, but obviously just a, a reduction in cost, so covering the cost in some way. And uh, I thought that was, that was really amazing, really nice. Um, this other one. Hi, Reddit. Today is Gran's 100th birthday and she wanted to show off her hairdo for such a special day. <laughs> this has been the subreddit pics and also why I keep getting texts. I was just, it was yeah. almost exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Just Very a nice, 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 nice other lady. Looking great. She had an awesome dress on. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, this one I thought we could uh, relate to perhaps a little bit after you being in a similar-ish situation. Uh, in Japan, mm -hmm. a young woman caught a home run ball hit by ja uh, Japanese MLB superstar Shohei Otani, which I think the chant is, go, go, Shohei. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, during the World Baseball Classic, uh, and someone next to her wanted to see the ball, and it eventually got passed around the stadium to whoever wanted to see it, and it was returned oh to her god. after everyone got there. Oh my god! <laughs> It was in the summer. It made me smile. It was by user ES Barat. Yeah, man. Japan's next level with that kind of stuff. There was a video I just I saw just this morning, and it, it was just called um, Etiquette in Japan, I think it was called. Yeah. And it was um, like dash cam footage of uh, like zebra crossings. Yeah. Or zebra crossings. I don't know what you say. <laughs> uh, and the person would cross the road, and the car would like slow down to let them cross. And then they get to the side, and then they bow to the car. As it, as the <laughs> to be like, thank you for oh, slowing yeah. down. I'd be so annoyed. <laughs> I'd be like, bowing is taking much more time. <laughs> if you just walked across the road, I'd be gone in one second faster. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, okay. So this, uh, well, last, uh, see, last post, because then we got the personal trainer one after yep. that. Uh, there was a woman, it was actually a picture of a, of a flight attendant. And he's basically like sitting on the ground in the aisle, holding a lady's hand. Uh, and the caption was, this woman was so nervous about flying. So the flight attendant explained every sound and bump and even sat here holding her hand when it still got to be too much for her. This is in Reddit, made me smile, and it was by Umba Toksaba. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just really nice. And then, but then I was like, I wish I had somebody to explain all the sound and bumps to me. <laughs> Not that I'm a particularly nervous player, yeah. but sometimes, you know, there's one that's like, <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> is someone drilling? Yeah. Is someone drilling downstairs. Is that for airflow? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I, bet, I just thought, man, that's, that's super nice. So. How do you tell the difference between an air pocket and something going wrong? Cause you know how sometimes it goes, it's just yeah. all right. I was like, oh, sorry, yeah, it's just a little air pocket there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what if that's We're like. in the air. <laughs> what does he mean there's pockets? But, but like, how do you tell the difference between that and like an, an engine sputtering? Yeah. Yeah. I think when he says, oh, the engine's on fire. <laughs> Um, just wanted to let you know that's what that one's about. And uh, we will now start drilling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is drilling. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, I've I've got two more things. I know this is the long out. Whatever. We'll just cut some of the end of the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we won't even like say goodbye. It'll just end. It'll just end. Uh, I don't know if. Um, uh, yeah, I, for some reason I do this one every year and I've just decided to keep up the tradition. Okay. It's what are the three uh, top posts in r slash r? Um, what? Oh, uh, well, actually, I think I normally do this a little bit differently. I'm just going to get you to put them in order maybe. Okay. Um, usually I get you to guess what what animal it is by oh, giving yeah, you a few yeah, yeah. choices. Mm -hmm. Uh but there's two kids in this one and one dog. Okay. So anyway, I'll just give you the posts. One is um, a Mongolian child dressed in winter wear. Mm -hmm. uh, very small kid. Looks very cute. Just like if you can imagine a kid in kind of like a... It's actually not puffy, but it was just all-encompassing like a right. jacket okay. that just, you know, <laughs> took up its being, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was by user Tobbins678. 
uh, there was a dog that had jumped into his owner's bathtub, and the, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> that's a contender. Yeah, the uh, uh, quote here is: "Today, his intrusive thoughts won after two years of fighting the urge to jump in." <laughs> uh, that was by user Ratty Tails. And then uh, the last one was construction workers filling up a kid's toy truck oh, with yeah. dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was by Amish Novelty. Yeah. Okay, I saw I saw that video. Yeah, right. That's yeah. Very cute. Yep. Do you know who seems more excited than that? I don't know if you remember this specifically, but it's like uh, the mother and her yeah, child. Yeah. Yeah. And right at the end, the mother runs up faster than the kid. Yeah. To be like, <laughs> look at this toy truck. Anyway. Because that's what I like about kids is like, I, I was once in a room where the kids were meeting some of the wiggles. Oh, uh, yeah. And to kids, they're like, yeah, it's the Wiggles. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know the Wiggles. Yeah, yeah. And it's the parents are like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> this is really rare. So they, for, for the kid. International he's, superstars. Yeah, for the kid, it's probably like, yeah, I, I'm in construction. He's in construction. He's just helping me out. Yeah, yeah. And the mom's like, no, you don't, you don't understand. This is actually. Yeah. I do the mashed com- potato. They do the yeah. mashed potato. <laughs> we're actually the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will. S- I'm going to do a, a kid sandwich. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna okay. put the uh, the the truck being filled number one. Yeah. Dog in the bath number two. Yeah. Mon- Mongolian child number three. Flip the children. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. The you need I, to see this photo of the Mongolian yeah, yeah, child. Yeah, I do. It's a very cute <laughs> kid. That's just like it looks like it couldn't even move. Honestly, <laughs> but uh, it's very cute. Uh, yes. Uh, and then the last section I've I've got here for just the start of the show is um, uh, the top three unethical life pro tips. Oh, great! Um, a little bit disappointed this year, if I'm going to say Not so. Unethical but, enough. I some of the ones in the past, I'm like, I could implement this. <laughs> <laughs> These ones less less so, uh, but still uh, great so nonetheless. Is it, they're less less unethical or less doable. Less, are, they, are they like let's do the chairman for of a me. bank? Yeah, yeah. Then fund like funnel the money to your personal account. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do it for me. Um, okay, you can. I guess you can put these ones in order. I, don't okay. I haven't really thought about it. This uh, is by Go for Baskets. Uh, an ethical life pro tip: If anyone is yelling at you in public, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, even if it's your fault, remain calm. Look at them sincerely and keep repeating: You really need to stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. There's not uh, yeah, much you good. can do about that. That's good. Um, just no matter what they say. Because even if they're like, oh, you should stop doing drugs. Like, mm, that's just the drink talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another one by Deafening, Deafening Us. Yeah. Uh, if you own a business near a Walmart, and they compete against you, yep. bombard every Walmart employee with unionization propaganda. The Walmart will lay off everyone and close for <laughs> renovations. And you also get a lot of resumes from seasoned retail <laughs> <laughs> Um uh, Do they just do I, that? I, thought, I don't know the system very well in America. Will they just lay off people that are trying to union? I probably, don't understand. To be yeah. Their labor laws are pretty bad. It's, that's insane. In Australia, it's really hard to get fired. Oh yeah, you need to really fuck up to get fired. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They will sooner make you redundant and pay you out than to fire you for all the trouble it would probably cause them. Especially if it was because you tried to join a union. Holy crap! You would just be in. Yeah, yeah, Uh, yeah. What what they should there's there's an episode of uh, the TV show Nathan for you where he he tackles the same thing. Electronic store. Mm -hmm. There's a big. uh, I think it was a Walmart or I think it was Best Buy. Right. Opens up down the street. So he's trying to help this store out. Oh, I and he says, uh, well, they got a price match yeah. guarantee. Yeah. So if you put all of your TVs on sale for $1, <laughs> yeah. then they have to price match and you actually just go in and buy all of their TVs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then that way you have all the TVs. And then he also sets up a system of like intricate tests and stuff to get into the original store to stop other people coming <laughs> in and buying their $1 TV. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's a good ethical, unethical life. Yeah, life. yeah. That's a good one. Uh, the last one here is by Legend Eater. Uh, hire a prostitute to take a swingers uh, to take to a swingers party so you can fuck someone else's wife without having a throw for up yours. Can't fault them for the life. <laughs> it's, really pretty, it's pretty good. 
Oh, I don't know why that, mm. that tickled me so much. See, if this catches on enough, though, then you just haven't said your thoughts of prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. no, nobody's allowed to say. I love the idea that the appeal to them is having sex with someone else's <laughs> wife, not having sex, because he could have had sex with the prostitute. He's like, no, no, yeah. no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then wouldn't they be like, oh, Gary, I, I, I haven't seen your wife since that swingers night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah we break up <laughs> Got a new wife though If you're having another one If you're having another one You can't meet her just yet <laughs> How's your wife doing? It might not be the same one We might get back together I'm not sure <laughs> um, Okay <laughs> In order Yeah Um <laughs> I feel like Reddit would have a hard on for unions and such. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's probably number one. Mm-hmm. And then I'll go, <laughs> I'll go, the prostitute wife, and then I'll go the. Um, you need to stop drinking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's actually prostitute wife first. No, then the, you need to stop drinking, and then I've got uh, the complete the, opposite way. You've got it in the wrong order, and therefore you lose, uh, and you have to do all the pod naming for the rest of next year. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Uh, Forgot that was on the line. That was on the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, Kevin, we can finally move on into Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit. Uh, this Ask Reddit was by USB. Uh, <laughs> and Sorry, just a really boring <laughs> name. Yeah, but Canva, guess how it's spelled. Okay, Y O U E S S B E E. You bloody hell, yeah. you've done it. So, I think a lot better than you think. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely someone being like, yeah, they're like, all right, enter username. They're like, ah, oh. they've looked around their desk, like USB. That's nah, taken. Yeah, oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, this is obviously the top, uh, just in case anybody's tuning in to, <laughs> <laughs> to the top ask Reddit, Reddit post. This, oh, this you, is the very you, you number one. <laughs> uh, the, the, and sorry, sometimes, sorry about sometimes that, everyone. I, don't, <laughs> I know that's not very appealing. <laughs> sometimes I don't necessarily do it in uh, order because if we've done it throughout the year, then yeah. I, I, I let yeah. it go. Oh, by the way, I'm so uncertain about shower thoughts, which ones we've done, which ones <laughs> I've just read and decided not to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this one was actually the number one one. And uh, so it was by USB. Now that Reddit are killing third-party apps mm-hmm. on July 1st, what are great alternatives to Reddit? Um, one of the top comments by NetCub is, I might get back into reading books after over a decade. <laughs> oh. No, um, you won't. Should I check if NetCub <laughs> <laughs> has, has posted anything? R slash books would be a good one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Any Let's, good recommendations for books I can read? Here it. are the books I've read. They've made a comment one day ago. Uh, three days ago, two days ago. Oh, this person hasn't got What, what subreddits are they commenting in? Uh, programming here. Yeah. S- Secret of mana. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, uh, ask credit again. None of these sound like books to me. They are not books. You've you've lied. This <laughs> guy never thought anyone would check on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Netcom. No, you're in, you're in trouble. Uh. Yeah. So, do you think that there's a um? Well, for one, obviously, we know this is kind of a whole lot of business book crap that mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. I feel like um, the Redditors jumped on. Yeah. I I did. We had an episode where we spoke specifically about this, and I was like, third-party apps are making a shit ton of money yeah. <laughs> off Reddit without paying them anything, yeah. and this totally makes sense, um, And uh, but nobody really thought it through that much. Yeah. And I would say 99% of the Redditors that are complaining about it don't even use the third-party apps that actually <laughs> just a few of the Redditors like that. Um, it, it's basically they just... They just reskin Reddit, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Maybe make some things a bit user friendly. Do you want the only person that would deserve um, a a, um, a shot at this? You know, don't charge them anymore. Is if you had somebody that created an app and that could fix the searching function on Reddit, they can have whatever they want. Yeah, or I would say um, 
if it's for people that maybe uh, like have visibility problems that do like screen readers and stuff like that, if there's an app that helps that, that yeah, like anything like that, mm, I think true. is fine. Anything yep. that just takes ads, which is how Reddit makes money, and removes them and then charges people for the UPI yeah. of the <laughs> yeah, website, yeah, yeah, that's theft. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, but do you think uh, there are any alternatives Reddit, to Reddit? alternatives Get that are worth 8chan. it? Get into those conspiracies <laughs> over on 8chan. Yeah, yeah. 4chan's that, not it? wild enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Go straight to 8chan. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, there, there's some comments in here that are some stuff that I just have not heard of before. Actually, wait, wait. I should say mine is just you don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Books. I, I haven't been on right there. Uh, okay. I go on once every week or every fortnight to get the show notes. Mm-hmm. And that's literally it. Yeah. I'm not sure if this time around... When I did the this end of year show notes, I enjoyed doing it a lot more. And I was wondering if it's because I hadn't seen a lot of the top posts just previously in my my scrolling. And I was like, oh, it's nice to see these, you know, humans being bros and made me smile posts. Yeah. That just generally I, I'm loving. And uh uh yeah, so I think you you probably just just less social media in general is yeah. fine. Books. Go do what Netcob definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> and and read some more books or something. Uh but somebody else has written uh that hobo in the tub <laughs> said uh they've they've put a subreddit here, R slash tildes. Uh is the only Reddit alternative. So I'm assuming Tildes is like another social media thing. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Have you heard of this no. before? No, never. It's it's really strange. Uh, the Tildes to us now, Senator. The Matildas, the women's soccer league. Yeah, spells slightly differently. So yeah. don't you worry, um, because otherwise there'd be some court cases about that. Uh, yeah, there's only ten thousand people in this subreddit, so maybe it's very rare. But it is the second highest upvoted comment in this Ask Reddit thread. So. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's worth checking out. Um, yeah, I think our answer is still solidly books. Yeah, I think I think just books. Some other stuff. Play video games also. Um, the Reddit often doesn't offer much value as a Reddit-based podcast. <laughs> I can <laughs> I can uh, confirm. Uh, all right, here's another ask Reddit though. Uh, this by user love you guys forever. Bernie Sanders says U.S. should confiscate 100% of any money Americans make above $999 million. They can survive just fine. What do you think? Can they, though? Mm. Only $999 million. Yeah, but I might be one of those people that ends up making over a billion dollars in my life. I, um, I, I, who, um, so who posted this? What was the username? Love you guys forever. Okay. It's a nice name. Well, obviously you'd love them too, but... yeah. <laughs> I want to know whether Bernie used the word confiscate. Oh, okay. Can I just say the first comment by install your slap <laughs> is why is a Chris Wallace quote being attributed to Bernie Sanders? Yeah. Okay. So already we've got something wrong. Because uh, I hadn't actually heard of this. No. And I was like, if Bernie Sanders said it, I feel like it would have come around to me. This is a pretty big like. Yeah. And Bernie Sanders is all about redistributing wealth, et cetera. You shouldn't have billionaires, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Mm. I just don't know if he would have said, let's confiscate their money. Yeah, yeah. As a way of getting it passed. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, okay. And also to say that Chris Wallace, I believe, is the interviewer. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Chris Wallace is a news presenter. Um, he said that to Bernie Sanders and Bernie shrugged. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, man, yeah. that is so funny how twisted that, that I, 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 I love this stuff. Like yeah. there was a, there was a hoo-ha uh, a couple of years ago when the movie Solo was coming out mm-hmm. because, um, one of the writers of that movie said that, um, Lando Calrissian is a pansexual and he loves everything. Yeah. And, uh, you, you know what Star Wars fans are like. Oh yeah. yeah the yeah. worst people. Yeah. And I found the clip. 
and the interviewer says, "Well, you know, Lando Carissian's a bit of a, a bit of an out there guy. You know, would you say he's like a pansexual or something like that?" And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, maybe." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, clearly he's like playing like in the uh, interview, like, being like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah whatever." Man. If yeah. you want them <laughs> to be, <laughs> it's, it's totally up to you. Yeah, that's but, yeah, funny. All these things being like, this ride is so, like try uh, to claim. God. Yeah, it's so lame. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, what do you what do you think about this in general? Because as I read it, I was like, it just makes so much sense, doesn't as, it? As like, someone, does anybody need over a, like a billion dollars? As someone so. that makes less than that, I'm in favour of it. Yeah, yeah. The moment, Nelson, I make uh, over that, uh, we'll I'm overthrow it. that. <laughs> <laughs> but do you do you think? Yeah, because it's quite interesting. Because obviously, the Elon Musk's and uh, others of the world. <laughs> Uh, this is the only billionaire I can think of at the moment. Uh, they've got quite a few billion. Yes. Um, and so taking that off them is really interesting because you would be taking yeah. off them more than, you know, you could be taking like 80% of their wealth. Yeah. Potentially. I well, don't it, know it, it exactly also math, depends. But like, that's a lot. <laughs> it also depends. Net worth and money they have are, are different things. Right. Okay. So, like, if they're like Jeff Bezos is tied to Amazon, so his net worth is tied up in so many Amazon things, but that doesn't mean he has. I mean, he obviously stuff. has several mm. billion in cash as well. Yeah, but mm. there would be people whose net worth is over a billion dollars just because of the company that they run, actually, and, and a, the assets that they own. Yeah, it's a good point because probably even those people, the Jeff Bezos and and whatnot, they probably none of them have. A billion dollars in cash. Mm. <laughs> I I imagine you've. It would be insane yeah. to keep that much in a bank account in several bank accounts, uh, under a mattress, <laughs> because you would just invest it immediately, put it in stocks. Even if you ju- you don't even need the stocks to go up. You're just like, I just need this money to be somewhere. I'd say if you're a billionaire and you have $5 billion in cash in a bank account, yeah. you're a bad billionaire. You're a, you're an <laughs> idiot. And give us a billionaire's penalty. Yeah. <laughs> give us no, 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 yeah, a billion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not getting Barney coming after us. Because the we won't know what to do with it. <laughs> It'll just be with, in our bank and uh, then we'll get done by this rule. Uh yeah, it's it's this is way more of an insane thing than I thought it was. Yeah, on, on surface levels, like yeah, it's probably why Bernie just shrugged. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. oh, this I don't want to unpack this right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, have to explain to Chris Wallace how money works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> theoretically, a great idea. Uh, anyway, let's move on to today. I advise. So now it's time for today. I learned. Okay, so I'm going to do one today I learned and one advice okay. that was the top of the year. Uh, this one was by Admiral Turtleship. Uh, today I learned a family in Georgia claimed to have passed down a song in an unknown language from the time of their enslavement. Scientists identified the song as a genuine West African funeral song in the Mende language that had survived multiple transmissions from mother to daughter over multiple centuries. I remember reading this one. Yeah, I think I, I did read this one too. Uh, I don't think we spoke about it. No. Though, I guess, no. no. Um, but I just thought that was so fascinating because it, to me it feels like um, it, it explains how we were able to do this before the written language, basically, you know, like how civilizations, communities came together in the first place. It was like, you just told a story and you pass that on, uh, in, uh, you know, so native Australians, Aboriginals, uh, and Torres Strait Islanders, they, um, very much in their culture, we're taught about, they have like the dream time and, and, and it is all about, passing on stories to yeah. children and that flowing from one generation to the next. Um, and that would be really interesting to probably track as well, right? Because I would say definitively it, it's it's actually the same thing, right? It's just on a wider scale, but yeah. because yeah. this is just like 
a family that's like, oh no, this is like our song and they've been able to track back. But but obviously there are stories from indigenous culture, probably all over the world, I'd say, where those stories have been passed on and that's that's where it is today. Do you know what this proves to me? Is that something I thought was impossible can be done. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know if you've ever played a game where one person whispers into someone's ear, yes, and then they whisper into the next person's ear down down a chain, yeah. Within Apparently minutes, apparently, if you're a racist, it's called Chinese whispers. Yes, but uh, otherwise, it's called narrative telephone. Yeah, that's yeah, another yeah. One. Yeah, that's that's one that we played. And there's also like it's like Spanish whispers if you are oh. Chinese or something. <laughs> yeah, different cultures, different just, racists, d- yeah. different cultures just blame another <laughs> yeah. race. Right? I, you know what? We're in favor if you guys want to call it Australian whispers. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's say they're playing Australian whispers. I didn't think it was possible for something to remain intact. Mm. Within minutes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let alone generations. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because, like, if they sung a song to me, I'd be like, "Yeah, that's funny." But if I added balls into that, yeah, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, yeah, guys, trust me, this is how it goes. <laughs> um, that's how we got Jingle Bell Santa smells. <laughs> I think that's that's how that happened. Um, I uh, yeah, I, I, do you know? It's funny as well. On I remember one time vividly when I was probably in grade one, so I would have been like five or six or something, playing Chinese whispers, and it was called Chinese whispers at the time. And uh, I, I had, I'll be honest, parts of Australia it's probably still called Chinese whispers because this country is uh, racist, we're pretty racist. Yeah, um, I found that um, I was sitting next to my best friend Alex. And Alex, aren't the Chinese quite good at secrets? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to throw you off there. Is that racist? <laughs> I, I, I think their government's pretty tight lipped, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. No, I, they? I feel like the the world news is always like, "What are China doing?" Well, <laughs> it, can, it depends who you where you get your information from. I think can be if you get your information from the Chinese, then they're very open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> We were very clear about what we were doing with the Uyghur people. <laughs> uh, anywho, the um, yeah, and so I was sitting right next to my best friend Alex, and he was like constantly. He was like he was either always sick or just sounded like he was always sick. Yeah, like blocked nose and yeah. stuff always. And I was sitting next to him, and he was whispering in my ear, and so I all I heard was like, <laughs> and I was like, I. I do not understand. And part of the rule is that, like you're only meant to listen to it once. Uh-huh. And I was like, I, I, I'm sorry, everyone, but I literally got nothing. And they were like, what? How could you not? And, they were, and the teacher was like, all right, do it one more time. And then the same thing happened. Yeah, I, I was like, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I've got nothing. He can't whisper. It's hard enough when he speaks out loud <laughs> to hear what he's saying. But when he's whispering, it's like 10 times worse. And so then I think in the end, I just like made up some yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'll start my own whisper. <laughs> I, I watched a video the other day that it, it's a, a different version of the same concept. It was a, a bunch of students all in a line. Um, and they they're not looking at each other, so like they they're all looking at the back of the other, and one would tap the other the person in front of them on the shoulder. They'd turn around and they'd show them it was like a little dance. Yeah, this girl like crossed her arm, put her above her, put her down like a little uh, dance. Yeah. So the next girl would tap the person in front. They'd turn around, chit on the dance, and it just got to this one kid, mm-hmm. and the kid tapped him on the shoulder. He mm-hmm. didn't turn around and just immediately tapped the kid in front of him on the shoulder, and then did something else. <laughs> That kid did not understand <laughs> the game at oh, all. Oh, it did. It was just like, no, nope. uh, screw this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, there wasn't even a moment where he, he stopped to think about it as well. It was like, tap, 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 tap. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That wasn't like, I know what I'm going to do yeah, when yeah. I get tapped on the shoulder. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is uh, now I'll move on to the advice. Uh, this is by Ingre. Ingre. Yeah, it was by someone. Stupid, but I have a problem with a seagull at work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I didn't come across this during the year, because this one's right up there. Uh, I'm a line cook. Yeah. I go smoke by the dumpsters a few times a day. <laughs> we get seagulls in our parking lot. Mm-hmm. It's a well-known restaurant. It's busy and tourists are sloppy with their fries. I also suspect the tourists are feeding the seagulls because it's cute, even though it's very against the rules. Yeah. Regardless, the girls do not feel man or God. They are used to people. A few weeks back, one of the girls swooped down and took my cig. 
I think he thought it was a French fry. <laughs> I giggled and went about my day. However, it's happened a few times since. Uh, he's got a taste for it now. I know it's, uh, it's the same guy because he has a dark spot on his chest. I call him the pestilence. I'm concerned he is now addicted to nicotine. <laughs> he's by the dumpsters at the same time as my breaks every <laughs> single day. This is obviously not good for him, and I'm getting mad about him bumming off me because smoking is expensive. Do I try to quit smoking? I'll make noise to try and uh, try to appear large to scare him off, but the pestilence is hip to my tricks. Have work uh, cracked down on tourists feeding the gulls? Uh, what have? Oh yeah, have work uh, cracked down on tourists feeding the gulls? What do I do? Are there sonar weapons such as dog whistle type thing that I could employ? Sorry, this is fucking stupid. I'm being bullied by a seagull. He also stole a ten dollar bill from my coworker. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rural, so we don't have animal rescues and animal control just laugh when we go. <laughs> Any advice, welcome. And yes, I am serious. He sucks, but I care about wildlife and he's probably too young to be smoking. Yeah, yeah. Um, take him down mm-hmm. to a local trade station. Yeah. Oh. If you if you want to steal money and bum cigarettes, yeah, that that's where you do it here oh in Australia. God. He'll be loving it. Yeah. He'll be loving life down there. Yeah, I think uh, the problem is he's he's concerned with his nicotine addiction as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, then you need to trans. You need to get the the girl onto vapes. Uh yeah, that's that's. <laughs> And you're allowed to do that. You need to start vaping. Yeah, you need to start vaping. In, in, Cigarettes in, are bad so, for you anyway. In a vape that is shaped ideally like a big like chip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big French fry. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. Yeah, uh, yeah, that I I like that idea. And um, that's kind of harder for him to pick up and stuff. But. Or here's what you do: have a, a nicotine patch in your hand ready. Oh, okay, Un, uh, unpeeled. Smoke the cigarette when the gull comes, slap it on its back. Slap it on him. <laughs> yeah. And then, do you know what I've heard the problem with nicotine patches is, though? Is it doesn't it doesn't actually help you quit smoking because you still have the addiction to nicotine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the, he will be then addicted to the patches. <laughs> right. Then you've got to have patches ready all the time. And I don't know how expensive they are in, uh, in comparison. It might, it might give you a few days' freedom yeah, while, he's, yeah. while he's riding the high of the, of the nicotine patch. Um, but, yeah, that, that's a pretty good idea. I have also heard, I don't know whether this is proven, it could be just an Australian old wives' tale, but if you feed uh, Panadol, so uh, paracetamol, to a seagull, it explodes. Yes, I've also heard that. I I think it's true. Um, maybe, I, uh, it, it seems like, like why would it be, though? I, I don't, don't know. Th- <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't think it like fully explodes. I yeah. think it's like the insides explode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I think it's pretty pretty horrendous. Right. Anyway, I'm just saying if you want a lethal approach, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then just pretend I mean, to be smoking a Panadol it, it, one day. <laughs> if you're going down that path, Nelson, shoot it with a gun. Yeah, but you don't want to be caught, can we? So what are they going to do, an autopsy on the CEO? <laughs> but hearing a loud gun go off in the in the break area out the back of the, yeah. the busy restaurant. And then you wipe it off with a rag and put it in its little wing. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, God, it was so addicted to cigarettes, it didn't know what to do. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah. Uh yeah, pretty pretty good idea. But yeah, I think I think probably vaping is the the best uh, yeah, best answer. A, a French fry shaped vape. Also, I think that if you could use its addiction, I'm pretty sure this happens in other parts of the world where they addict people to heroin, mm-hmm. and then they kind of become pseudo slaves, which is horrible <laughs> yes. in the real world. Yeah. But for a seagull, yeah. <laughs> it's addicted to cigarettes. And he steals $10 notes. <laughs> so If you can train it to drop a $10 note in your hand. And he gets a cigarette. I don't think uh, this is a bad deal. Yeah, okay. I think this is all right. Um, <laughs> that's, that's option number three and preferred. <laughs> uh, okay, can we, let's get into shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. This shower thought is by Teapot Monkey. The real, oh yeah, and again, I can't, I can't stress enough. We may have gone through all of these top ones. So here we go. Uh, 
the real gauge of a friendship is how clean your house needs to be before they can come over. Yeah, we've done that one. We've done that one? Yeah. yeah. It's still definitely the same. Because just recently we had you know Christmas at our place mm-hmm. um, and it was very messy afterwards. And, and we, we cleaned up pretty much everything, most of the downstairs. Um, and then you guys came over like the day after or yeah. something two days after. And like... If it was anyone else, we would have cleaned more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're like, yeah, it's Stacey again, yeah, man. That'll be fine. Question for you, and this is asking you to rank your friends. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a dinner at your house yeah. for Christmas. Yeah. On like the 22nd, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stacey and I, you and Alan. Yeah. And then another couple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you clean more because of the second couple? Yeah, we definitely did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew oh, it. Even Rachel was coming. I know. We better, <laughs> we better make, make the look, place look pretty. Yeah, he'll, it's he'll be, because we're on television for good <laughs> It's because we are around each other so much. It's like, I, you know, from people that I see less frequently, I can hide my filth. <laughs> <laughs> I see you so frequently. I'm I like, know. it shows through yeah, enough yeah, yeah. that, you know, uh, you, you know. Uh, his name was by Harry Beast seven seven seven. Everyone talks about how different life is since the internet and iPhones, but no one talks about how much better life is since banning indoor public smoking. Have we had this one too? I don't think so. I think I definitely read this um, during the year. Yeah, Australia are not too too town horn, Nelson. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's always been pretty forward on this stuff. Yes, we. You always bring this up. We. You're, you're very proud of this very Australian. Proud. Bit. Our gulls wouldn't yeah, yeah. smoke. Our, our girls ones. I, I was gonna say. The, I mean, the other post, not to get back to it, but a few other things he said. I was like, this guy's definitely Australian. Except for he kept saying, kept saying French fries. He said French fries. That's the only thing that I thought the same. But thing. he said bummer smoke. You, bummer that smoke. seems very Australian. Yeah, to me. he'd say bummer dari, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or dart. He said sig as well. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yes. Sorry. Keep going with. Anyway, I, I, yeah. It's, uh, so I feel like we adopted this. Pretty early, yeah. Um, the old like banning smoking in public places, etc. Uh, yeah. Well, well indoor uh, specifically in, in, yeah, was yeah, quite yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, watching old footage, this is the one that really gets me mm-hmm. of people smoking on planes. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my god, mm, that would just it stresses kill me. me out. As a non-smoker now i guess obviously i used to be a smoker and I haven't smoking uh smoked well, that smoking I'll stole your whole smoking? packet yeah <laughs> yeah we decided we'd quit together and uh, <laughs> made, made a pact um but uh yeah i i like now obviously i can't stand the smell um uh, in the same way that i used to previously love it <laughs> so, yeah uh i was like if you were just trapped in a plane where you just could not get away from that smell. Yeah. Oh, God, it would be terrible. What do you think? I believe... Oh, I'm going to paraphrase and get this wrong, mm-hmm. but there's the law that came in in New Zealand where people born after a certain year uh, yeah. can't buy them. Yeah, what do you hear you, what happened to what, that? What happened? The new oh, yeah, conservative yeah, PM it. overturned yeah, that yeah. rule. Because here's oh. the thing about cigarette companies, Nelson. They've yeah. got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're like, here's... Um, Two million dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to uh, reverse that law, it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, no problem. I just thought it was such a weird one to reverse. Yeah. Because once I get, I understand that it's hard to get to that point, right? But I feel like once you've done it, you're like, who free from like the influence of the smoking yeah. companies? You know, yeah. we we've put this in; it's going to happen. And then for somebody to turn over is literally saying, no, 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 let's keep people smoking. Yeah, that's like crazy. there is no, there is no sense. I mean, there's dollars and cents. I mean, th- that's the point. That's why it's even more amazing to me because it's like we know the only reason is because you're saying no, we want more money. Yeah, whether it's from taxes or slash wink wink no no, I'm definitely getting yeah, yeah. money on the side <laughs> yeah. from the smoking companies. Philip Morris or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yes, that was that was very sad because it seems like uh such an obvious and positive way to go forward as yeah. well because you're saying okay it would be impossible to ban smoking right now for everyone it's a very difficult thing to quit nicotine is uh, very addictive but um if you just prevent the younger generation from being able to easily purchase 
um, cigarettes and you just slowly phase them out. It's like that's a really intelligent way to go about it. That's really bummed me out to end the year, Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Sorry, sorry about that one. Uh, I'll do this last one here. Is by Happy Family Zero One Three One, a polka dot shirt. Just remember, this is like top three. <laughs> <laughs> A polka dot shirt is a striped shirt, but instead of running horizontally or vertically, they run in the third dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Why was this upvoted so much? I never thought of a stripe to be like a round cylinder stripe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I always in thought the th- they, they, yeah. they were like flat. Yeah, but I guess they're saying... They're actually round. If you're, you're looking at see, a different... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the in another dimension. Yeah, it's actually round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rough year for shower thoughts. It seems rough, rough year, <laughs> rough year. Um, all right, Cameron. Now it's for time for podnapping. <gasps> oh my god, I'm being podnapped. Podnapping. This is Podnapping, where we nap a pod, we take a topic of conversation or a segment from another thing, and we do it ourselves. It's a long episode, this episode. It's been a long episode. I but don't, it's a special it's one. It's a special one. I don't know how long this will take, but yes. I had an idea. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, throughout the year, something I've been noticing, especially this year, mm-hmm. when something unexpected happens, oh. people would say, wow, I didn't have that on my 2023 bingo. Huh. To, okay. to express, geez, who would have ever thought that would happen? Okay, yeah. But here's what I'm thinking, Nelson. Yeah. I have a free bingo card maker open. Oh, that's good. Named yeah. 2024 Bingo. What we need to do is put several outlandish things on this bingo okay. card. So when it does happen, we can go, yeah. we actually did have that on our 2024 bingo <laughs> yeah. card. We, we knew that was going to happen. Um, obviously, to get bingo, we need a few that we think might actually happen, some more predictable things. Okay. But we need to have a few outlandish ones as well. There are nine spots on this bingo card. Okay. So it's not a regulation size bingo card. Okay. Yeah. But I'm thinking if we... <laughs> not a regulation size bingo card. Sorry, I just I find that funny that, <laughs> that there is a regulator for bingo cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's going around being like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, whoa, hey, what's this? this, this what? Nine spots? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so what I thought is we could brainstorm a couple of bingo card Events, okay, one or two likely to happen to help us. I reckon yep. we need one, at least one likely per line to help us get started. Okay, uh, and, and I just want to say yeah. next year, I think big year for elections. Yeah, U.S. election. Yep. U.K. election. Yep. and I think uh, Indonesian election. Mm-hmm. I want to say another biggie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we want to make predictions about any of those? Okay. Uh, so 2024, let's start with US election. I mean, that's, yeah, I feel like that's, that's the one I know most about. Yeah. I don't even know what's happening in the UK election. I, I, I think, I the, feel like that's, in, that's been in shambles for a bit. I don't the, know what's up. The big question for 2024 is whether or not Trump might win. Yeah. Yeah. So God, it'd be wild if he did. I reckon it would genuinely be just crazy if he did. But he might. <laughs> so, so, so you you want to put Trump wins twenty twenty four election? Okay, I think there's two ways this is going to potentially go. Right, I, I think this is the thought process that a few people are are having. Yeah, which is okay. Either Trump wins, or uh, not Bernie. Um, Biden yeah. wins yeah. again, uh, but then retires yeah. sh- semi shortly after, and Camilla yeah. Harris yeah. Uh, takes over. So. I feel like one of the oh, we could hedge our bets. On <laughs> one side of the bingo, we've got Trump wins. On the other side, we're bound to get. Yeah, we're it's bound true. To get something. As uh, long as you're in separate lines. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, uh, it'd be very hard to get that line to say bingo. Yeah. No, I would like you need to... Trump and Biden to both win. <laughs> oh my god, twist! <laughs> Trump and Biden both win. Exactly fifty. If that if that happened and someone said, "Well, I never have thought that would happen," then yeah. we could claim. Well, yeah, we did. We did. Do you know what? Okay, this is what we should. Um, I think this is what we could bid on to. Yeah, is Biden gets the popular vote, but Trump wins. That okay. could also be one of the. I don't know. I don't want to influence you, Gabo. What do you think? Uh, look, I, I'm going to put Biden gets popular vote okay. as um, as a one that we we think will probably happen. So that way, it's helping us. 
and then we'll have Trump wins maybe on a separate line later on. Okay. But that, I feel like that one is a safe one. So okay. now we need to do an outlandish one. Okay. If it does come off, we look very impressive. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to Yep. I'm going to say um okay. I've just written here Ian McCallan okay is a racist. Huh. If that turns out to be true in 2024, I think a lot of people will be very surprised and we'll go well, we called it. We got it. Wow, that is so specific. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be I, more... I've recently watched Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Ian McKellen just popped into my mind when I tried to think of someone random. Okay. Hey, so that's good. That, that's my random one. Now I need a random one from you to put on as an unlikely to happen, but if it did... Oh. Okay. This one's more wishful thinking. Mm. Sarah Michelle Gellar <laughs> breaks up with <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. Okay. Breaks up with... Okay, now I've just put SMG breaks up with FPJ. Uh, yeah. We'll remember that. We'll, right? we'll, we'll, we'll remember that. Yeah, we'll, remember, sure remember. we'll remember okay. that. Um, now for the now that's the that's the top line done. Okay. Now done. for the second line, uh, we were going to put the Trump wins, but I want to have that in a different square okay. to the regular one. So mm-hmm. I'm going to do another outlandish one. Mm-hmm. Murders linked to Badger. <laughs> <laughs> if a badger report matters. if a report comes out and they're like, we don't know what links them, but we suspect it's this badger, <laughs> and people are like, Jesus, oh, who would have thought? It, Us, we would have thought. We knew this. Um, okay, um, uh, and then we'll put Trump wins election. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, alien life found. Alien life found. Brackets, mm-hmm. not a fake this time. Because <laughs> there was that, that one that they presented in the Mexican <laughs> Supreme Court. Did you see <laughs> right. that? Yeah. It was know. clearly a fake alien. Right. Uh, Do you I know ca- what I think was that this is totally off topic, but I don't care. Um, apparently, uh, I, I think it was discovered this year that on the moon, there's like a shit ton of water, but they're in these like crystal ball things. And like just kind of uh, uh, spattered throughout the dirt. Hmm. I thought that's really interesting yeah. that there's actually water. And they were like, oh, it's like worth this many lakes of whatever. I don't know. It was like a decent oh. amount of water if you had to put it all together. Breeding ground for life. So interesting. Mm. Why you were saying that, I put down my next prediction, which is uh, yo yo's are back in fashion. Ooh, Gambo. Oh, you could almost take this one off straight away. Really? My nephew, for some reason. I wish they had to wait until next year, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> got a yo-yo for... <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if somebody like actually gifted him or as a part of a like package gift, because surely nobody's like, here's a yo-yo <laughs> and uh, take this kid and love it. I feel like it had to have been part of some sort of kid package. Yeah. Um. But he was like, hey, can you show me how to do this? And I was like, cool. But it was like way too big for him. And I, you know, I tried to do it again and I've uh, still got the skills. Gambo. No, I don't. My brother actually got really into yo-yos and he knows how to do the cradle. And he did it. Really? He did it again. I was like, wow. this. So just, Maybe uh, so, my finger's more on the pulse than I thought. Yeah, also. yeah. Pretty uh, do you have another outlandish prediction you want to make? Um. Okay. Uh. Let's say... Um, oh God. Um, I want to do something that's also sort of achievable, um, but still maybe a little bit outlandish. Um, oh, should we do something maybe related to the, uh, multiple wars that are going on at the moment? Do we want to make make something? Remember, this one needs to be more outlandish. Oh, okay. Because what I've done is I've done all the... All the ones that are more likely, I've yeah. now kind of got in a diagonal line. Okay. Uh, Russia invades Israel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't think that one's, even though that one's outlandish, that one's far more outlandish. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're more likely to find alien life, I think. <laughs> are we? I don't know. What about Russia chills? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Russia chills. Yeah, yeah. If they're like, guys, I don't know. I reckon we'll just whoopsie daisy. You know what? Forget it. 
you know what, Ukraine? Take some of our land. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to admit it, I didn't win the last election. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Uh, and now, okay, let's do one more that's likely. Um, I feel like a lot of time it has to, like, people, like Barbenheimer, for example, this year. Oh. I think a lot of people are like, oh, geez, who would have thought? But in that vein, one that's maybe pretty likely to happen, let's say Oppenheimer wins Best Picture. Oh, okay. Look, yeah. Not a cert, but it wouldn't surprise you if it happened, would you? You'd be like, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a safe-ish assumption. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that'll help us with a line in bingo. Uh, yep. Okay. Sure. Unless do you have a, another version that you wanted to go with? Oh, what if Barbie wins the Best Picture campaign? Huh? Have, you, have you think about that? No, because of wokeness. <laughs> yeah. That's why it will win. Oh, I've heard if you go work, you go broke. Yeah, well, that's uh, you've been listening to the wrong people. Because oh, no. I've got if you go work, you go stoke a, do- a doobie. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. And that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so our 2024 bingo has Biden gets the popular vote, Ian McCallan is a racist, <laughs> Sarah Michelle Geller breaks up with Freddie Prince Jr., murders linked to a badger, mm. Trump wins election, Yep. alien life found, not fake this time, yo-yos are back in fashion, mm-hmm. Russia chills, <laughs> and Oppenheimer wins best picture. Okay. Guaranteed. Now, we, we will share this across our... Uh, the Discord and and Reddit and such, um, mm-hmm. but play along through the year. Yeah, <laughs> if you see any of these happen, I think tick them off. We should encourage people. You should put whatever website this is uh, uh, linked to oh, whatever yeah. I think. Yeah, and people, people can make, can their, make own. their own. Yeah, but for each line, you have to have two outlandish ones and yeah. one sort yeah. of maybe will hit, <laughs> <laughs> but still not that definite. <laughs> Okay, so at the moment, because now that I've generated, it's actually um, shuffled them as well. So, it's, oh. It, but oh, that sucks. <laughs> now, now, for instance, the middle line. What do you think the the chances of this are? Biden gets popular vote. Yeah, and Yo Yo's are back in fashion. <laughs> oh, it's not. All we yeah. need is Sarah Michelle Gellar to break up <laughs> oh. with Freddie Prince Jr. Oh my god! If we get to like December, and their relationship is still solid. I might have to start leaking stuff to the press. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think that's what's gonna happen. Okay, that's uh, anyway, that was our pod napping, uh, and of course, at the end of the year, we'll see how we did. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, so uh, that was pod napping, and uh, probably the end of the show yeah. there. So um, thank you uh, for listening. Uh, if you would like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R E A D I T podcast at gmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us at our subreddit, at our Discord, and um, something else. Yep. There's something else I think I say. I uh, can't remember. Write us a letter. I still haven't like worked out the exit bit since I've dropped Facebook and Twitter. Oh. X I mean, now. Nelson. Oh, uh, yeah. Facebook and X. <sighs> Um, but, uh, yeah, we'd uh, appreciate it if you could rate the show yep. and, uh, Hey, maybe you, maybe you started, uh, you found this episode because you were like, Oh my God, the best of Reddit. I've never heard of these guys before. Uh, subscribe and rate the show. Mm-hmm. Um, only good ratings though. Yeah. yeah. We understand oh, that some people accidentally get to our we need podcast. To be, we need to be clearer on this. Yeah. And they hate it. And we don't want those ratings. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. We'd prefer to fudge the numbers. Like, yeah. uh, like a certain country we are, is, we're predicting might chill out. This yeah. Year. If you don't like our podcast, go to the Joe Rogan podcast and leave a negative review for him there. <laughs> but the comment can be how much you don't like our this podcast. Show, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Leave negative reviews for this show on other shows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening, and we will read you later.